Hey guys, I'm doing Favorites Week here on my YouTube channel, and today's Favorites is going to discuss my favorite brushes. You guys requested it, so this week I'm going to be doing five videos all about my favorite stuff. So let's get started and talking about brushes. This is just as we speak. I definitely have more favorite brushes, but I'm just gonna go off of the ones that I typically reach for on an everyday basis. And if you're wondering, bitch, you reach for like 25 brushes every day? Mm hmm First off, let me just say, I got me a broken nail on this finger and this one's not painted, so just, just don't. My most used brush of all of my brushes that I own is the Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush. This brush is so good for every day. I use it every day. I used it today on this cut crease that you see. This is for blending out crease colors. I also use this for special effects makeup as well because it blends out, you know, pretty much everything really well. I use it, I think I've used this brush probably realistically in every tutorial I've ever done. I have a few of these because I never want to run out. But this brush is so amazing. It's fluffy and it is perfect for having a very light layer of smoked out color. I know you're probably sick of hearing terms like smoked out, but it's realistically what it does. Before I get into any other brushes, I want to say I don't own any Morphe brushes as of yet. I just haven't gotten around to purchasing them. So as soon as I do, I will let you guys know if they truly are worth the hype or not, but I can tell you I don't have any as of now, so I can't give you my opinion on them. But I, I hear they're good. My second most used brush is this one here. This is the IT Cosmetics Airbrush Blending Crease Brush, number 105. This brush I used today as well, and it is exactly what it says it is. So it is an airbrush effect perfect for blending out a crease. So it's literally what it's made for is what it's perfect for. I laid down the color today and um, if I if it's looking a little chunky or just doesn't look blended out enough, if I just take this and run it over it and just really blend, 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 this will take that color and just really diffuse it out so that it looks really natural. Really, well not natural. I mean this is not natural. It looks really, really perfectly blended, so I love this brush for that. I like this for more definition when I want to work in the crease. I used this brush today as well. This is the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. This Zoeva brush came in the rose gold set. I don't know if you can buy these separately. I don't know. You'll have to check into that. I'm going to link every single product in the description of this video, so if you guys do want to go buy these, you can just click the links and it'll take you right through so you don't have to go Google everything. This is a really nice brush for when you want to lay down color in a very precise location because it has this curved dome-like shape that's not pointed on the tip but retains its shape. It's really nice for placing color and blending it really precisely in an area like a cut crease. Legities. Now this brush is brand new to me. I have only just started using this, but I do really like it. This is the Sigma E39 Buff and Blend brush. And this I liked for today especially because it's very short and densely packed. It's not super fluffy, but it is nice and movable. This really precision blends out certain areas that you want to, but to keep a little darker, but you want to be densely blended. I don't know if that makes any sense, but for a cut crease, I don't know if you've ever done one before, but if you haven't, I can tell you they're hard. And the reason they're hard is because the color wants to sink down to your lid. This color wants to transfer to the top. To get that precision line, it's a little difficult. But when you use something like this, just to get right down on that line, because it's not too fluffy, it works really well for that. So I do like this brush for blending out deeper colors. If you don't want to buy a separate brush like the Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush, this one comes in the Zoeva Rose Gold set, and this is called the 227 Lux Soft Definer. This is a good brush if you want to not buy a bunch of different types of brushes. Like if you just bought the Rose Gold set, I think you would do well um, for getting a nice base set of brushes, but I like the Sigma E40 better than this for blending because this one's a little shorter and a little more densely packed where it doesn't just glide around. Like I'll show you the difference um, with the two next to each other. So you can see this one's shorter and stiffer whereas this one really 
moves around with the shape of your eye so that it really blends out that color seamlessly. So where you can't see the line of where I blended out the um, peach color on my upper cut crease area earlier, you can't see it because of the Sigma E40, whereas I feel like with this, it may show a little bit more of a blended line. I don't know shit about brushes, FYI. I'm just telling you what I know from what I know. Now this brush, I wouldn't typically like something like this. For some reason, I do not like short handled brushes. They, they piss me off. I don't know what it is. I just look at this and I'm like, what is the point of you? However, I did use this today and it made my life a hell of a lot easier. And what, I, what this brush is, is the Sigma E56 Lid Shader Brush. This brush is good because I will show you. See how it's like a flat, so it's wide, flat, what do you want to call that? A paddle. So it's like a paddle shaped brush. And what this works really well for is packing on shimmery colors onto your lid. So this would not be a bl blending brush by any means. What you would use this for is to take out some product and pat it onto your lid. And what's nice is if you're doing a look like a cut crease like I have here, if because this has such a precision and sharp shape to the actual end of the brush, it really can get right up to the cut that you're looking for. So if you plan on packing on shadows in a really precision shape, the Sigma E 56 lid shader brush is great for that. If you want to get precision deep down into those eyes, so if you're looking for getting this this line right here, what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. This brush has no name. I don't know what it is, but I love this brush. This came in the Coastal Sense 25 piece brush set. I think I bought this well, three years ago. And it's just this little, I hate when people do this by the way, but uh, that's the only, I mean, it just makes sense. This is just a little flat, it's not really flat, it's not as paddle shaped as the last brush, but it is, it's probably a lip brush or a really precision eyeshadow brush, but you can see kind of the shape of this brush here and it really is really easy to get a nice flat, really precision sharp line and it's soft enough that it doesn't drag, so I do like this brush. It has no name. All I can tell you is that it's Coastal Scents and it came in that 25 piece brush set. This brush looks janky as shit and that is because I kept it in my purse for a really long time. I thought I lost it. I was like, I lost my brush! But it was just in my purse getting ruined. So you can see here that the handle has chipped all away from the outer casing and shell and paint. But I can still tell you what this brush is because the name is intact. This brush is everything. This is the Sigma E15 Flat Definer Brush. This brush. This brush. So what this brush does is if you are looking to carve out your brows, so if you want to like really get up close to your brows, if you want to carve out the lip shape, if you want to get anywhere that's hard to get to, this brush is my favorite. Probably of all my brushes, this one I have to have. So this brush is super thin, you can see, but long and flat. It's a very particular square shape. When I first got this, I was like, I don't really see myself using this. But when I started carving out my brows, which I did not do today, but I probably should before I take an Instagram picture or something of this eye look. But every Instagram picture you see where my brows look really good or my lips look perfectly symmetrical or carved out, I have used this with some concealer. And this brush is so good for precision line work. So, so if you're looking for something to get you some really precision, nice, flat, carved out, I hate the word carved out too, but I'm gonna keep using it because it's really realistic for this. If you like that look for um, your lips or for your brows or for any part of your face that you want to look really precision, this brush is awesome. This is just a liner brush that I got, it's not even a liner brush, it's a paint brush from like Michaels, okay? This is the Kalina J. Madison number no. three brush. And this works really great with gel liner. I used it today on my wing and it works great because it's a nice pointed tip. And you can see there are some brands like the Real Techniques, it's like a fine liner brush. It's not fine enough to get you the precision that you need with something like this. You can see this comes to a very pointy tip. 
You need something like that to get you that real fine line. And so I do like this for liner. It, I'm not particular. As long as it comes to a really nice point, I don't need some special giant awesome brand. I just need a brush that's going to work for me. This brush is one that I use every day. Probably have used it every day for the last two years. It is my holy grail brow brush. I can get my brows to look exactly the way I want them because of this brush. I did try using a different brush one day and I was like, it literally is the brush. People think uh, you may be just really good at doing your brows. No, it's this bitch right here. This bitch has saved my life. This is the Zoeva 317 winged liner brush. This brush, this also came in the rose gold set so you can see already three brushes Three? Maybe four. Coming out of that kit that I absolutely loved. So I thought it was worth it. I'm not sponsored by Zoeva, by the way, so you don't have to be worried. I'm not sponsored by any of these brands, FYI. So you don't have to be worried that I'm going to be selling you something because I'm not. I just really, really, really like this brush set. I purchased it with my own money and I've used the shit out of it. This brush is really nice because it's nice and short and angled and so it's long angled on one side short on the other obviously because it's angled Duh. I use this with either powders I use this with the Anastasia dip brow I use this for literally everything it's all I use for my brows today I did not use any other brush this brush literally if I could never have one more brow brush for the rest of my life this is the one that I choose It's a Zoeva 317 wing liner brush this is a relatively new brush to me I've probably only had it for two weeks ish and this is the Sigma 3D HD precision brush now I have two of these and I was going to talk about the other one when it comes to uh, my foundation which this is what I applied my foundation with today and I'll talk about both of them at the same time because it seems a little redundant to talk about them both in different sections but I like them both the same for the same reason some people hated this brush when it came out because they were like what's the deal with the point it makes no sense to me it seems pointless pointless ha huh? oh I actually really like it for that reason. So what I like it for is I actually squirt my foundation onto each side and I drag, 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 and you use it in that motion. And for me, in particular, I can get a nice cut underneath my eye. I can really, if I can't reach it with this brush, then I can get it with this brush. And I applied my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer with this today, and I really like it. I, I actually really am shockingly really happy with the weird angledness of this brush. I enjoy it and I'm happy I got it. Now let's talk about face brushes. You won't be surprised to know I do not add big giant blush brushes like this son of a bitch in there because I feel like no matter what brand you get, no matter what you do, in my opinion, every brush I've ever gotten like this, uh, it's all the same to me they blend out just fine. So if you're going to get the Zoeva kit because you're like talked into it, it comes with a big large one. It's called the uh, 106 powder brush and it's, it's the same. Through and through each powder brush I have, they work the same for me. Face brush wise, um, you can tell I have two Real Techniques brushes, one Coastal Scents and one Sigma. I'm gonna go over the Real Techniques brushes real quick. Um, because I'm gonna. So this is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and this one I really like for contour because it's very dense, it's very short and it's nicely, it's really soft by the way, really soft, really densely packed but very rounded. You get a really nice, really intense but easy to blend out contour. So I really like this for that. This is the Real Techniques Contour Brush which I don't typically use for contour because I find that it kind of leaves a choppy look for me don't ask me why but I do like this for just blending out certain areas going along my temples but if I'm gonna use one or the other I prefer the expert face brush but this one is good if you want a really nice soft precision line because it does have the circular tapered top and these are inexpensive and you can get them at the drugstore and a thousand other reasons. This is a Coastal Scents brush that I have used a million times. I don't know what this is called either because, like I said, the Coastal Scents brushes don't have names. But this is the synthetic, it's like got synthetic white fibers sticking out of the base. And I like this for blush because you can really precision apply your brush. 
blush. I do like this for that. This isn't one I need in my staple collection, but I do like this for blush, and I prefer something smaller that I can blend out and sort of stick in a certain area. I like that where I can put the placement here, rather than this big ass giant brush that people typically think of for blush, because that just leaves your whole cheek covered instead of like, if you just want the blush right here, you got it. If you want the blush all over, you got it too. And the last brush that I'm going to talk about is my Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush F35. This one is one I use every day for highlighter. Loving it. It gives me the perfect highlighter placement. Some people might say it's too much, but for me, somebody who likes a lot of highlighter, it works perfect for me. So if you are looking for a nice highlighter brush, this one has never wronged me. It's not as easy to get a small highlight placement unless you just use the very, very tip or the very, very edge. But honestly, it's been great. I, I've never had any issues with this brush whatsoever, and why would I have an issue with a brush? It's for highlight, for God's sakes. Those are my main favorite brushes, and oh, yeah, those are my main favorite brushes. I hope you guys like this video. I will link everything, like I said, in the description of this video so you can click on those links if you would like to. I am an affiliate with Sigma, so if you feel uncomfortable about that, I just like to be transparent with you. I don't know why people would feel uncomfortable about it, but I always want to be transparent. So if you use my links down below, I will benefit from that. So FYI, just always want to be really upfront with you guys. That's something very new and I'm really excited about it because I'm really excited to become affiliate with people. Uh, it's just growing my brand. Keep an eye out and I will link all the other favorites videos in the description of this video when they come out uh, or you can just keep an eye out, subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can see them when they upload. So I thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And I'm going to be doing a big giveaway when I hit 50,000 subscribers, so if you get me there sooner, there's a possibility you might win. Also, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. I am using all of them and all of them very regularly now, so you may miss something if you don't follow me on one of those. So follow me on Snapchat, you get a lot of rants about shit you don't see on YouTube. If you follow me on Twitter, you get a lot of funny memes and some rants and a lot of polls because now Twitter polls is a thing and I think that's pretty neat. Facebook, I interact and leave big status updates that I don't have place to leave anywhere else. And Instagram, I put out that high quality shit that you can see every day because I put up a high quality makeup picture every day of 2015. Things you will never see on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. I said Instagram but you will see it on Instagram because that's where I post it. I meant Snapchat. Fuck my life. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye.